cloudy in some cases this morning. Check out the view from up on top of the Palmer Divide, courtesy of the folks at Dutch Heritage Gardens. We have 50 degrees right now. Good bit of low cloud cover floating across the Pikes Peak region as seen from that shot. Fountain has similar sky conditions. It's a little warmer, 58 degrees of ceramic landscape materials. Uh, the wind has really backed off considerably around Colorado Springs, but it's still been a little bit breezy in the Pueblo area. Wind has calmed down pretty nicely in Walsenburg, where it's 56. You can also see it's pretty cloudy there. So there's a pretty good sized deck of low clouds across the front range. They're going to keep us a little shady here off the get go this morning. Skycast shows that breaking up, though, as we head into the afternoon. We should have a good bit of sunshine later on today. And we'll have comfortable temperatures in the 70s and 80s across much of eastern Colorado. So it's not going to be terribly hot today. A little breezy at times, too. Occasional wind gusts up over 20 miles an hour through the afternoon. Higher terrain, 60s and 70s. Big valleys should be in the 80s through the afternoon. Overnight tonight should be much clearer. We think that the temperatures will generally stay about the same in the 50s in much of eastern Colorado. Last night, of course, we had some thunderstorms blow up as the cold front came in. We don't expect that tonight, but very late tonight, there could be another round of low clouds on the far eastern plains. Uh, low clouds would indicate some water in the atmosphere for tomorrow, but that's not really going to be the case. That'll get blown east, and we're going to get hot, windy at times, and dry. So fire weather watches have already been issued for all of eastern Colorado for tomorrow. High of 88 in Colorado Springs, by the way. We should then start to trend down here through the end of the week. And as we do so, we'll introduce a chance for some showers or some spotty showers and thunderstorms that could carry us right into the weekend. Overnight lows will drop out of the 50s into the upper 40s as we go through the end of the week. So nice to see some of that cooling in there. As far as fire weather is concerned, really tomorrow is our main concern. Look for temperatures to be in the mid-90s in Pueblo tomorrow. Then we'll tail off into the 80s for the end of the week. Might even be in the 70s by Sunday. I think it'll be a little bit longer before we get showers and thunderstorms into the area in Pueblo. Probably not until the end of the week. And even then, we're talking about a 10% coverage. Lows most nights in the 50s. Canyon City, 93 degrees tomorrow. Then we'll fall back into the 80s through Thursday. Maybe have a mixture of 70s and 80s Friday through Sunday. Could see a few raindrops as early as Thursday. A little better chances for some thunderstorms once we hit the end of the week. Mountain areas will have mid 70s tomorrow, low 70s on Wednesday. Could start seeing a few sprinkles around the Pikes Peak region on Wednesday, but still appears the chances for thunderstorms will be better as we get later on into the week. At which point highs will be in the 60s and lows will be in the 40s. So you know it's. Not great news to be reporting fires that have already broken out, as you know. At least today we get a break from the worst of the fire weather conditions, and we get one day to get through. It's not like a stretch of one week of it. Yeah. And then things start to tail off a little bit with some thunderstorm chances. All right. Thanks, Marty. You're welcome.